Representing the 25 to 27 foot class in the bay boat category, the Seaborne FX25 Bay has an overall length of 24 feet 11 inches, a beam of 8 feet 9 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built for tackling both inshore and offshore fishing excursions, she has a draft of 11 inches, a dead rise of 17 degrees, a dry weight of approximately 2,600 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 75 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. You want a bay boat that's high performance, can fish inshore and mix it up with the big boys offshore? This Seaborne FX25 absolutely fits the bill. This boat is a step in the hull. What that does, it lessens the drag, the boat's gonna perform better, you don't need as much horsepower to push it, but it's not gonna take as much fuel either. So the boat's already fuel efficient, having the big four stroke on the back, you add in the stepped hull, this boat has an unbelievable range. Right, and the reasoning behind the stepped hull is less wetted surface. And we're seeing it everywhere. We're seeing it from 40 footers to 20 footers. It's really caught on in the bay boat industry. Well, if you look at the width too of this front deck, the bow is big on this boat. It's got a lot of flare, keeps it dry, but if you want to put multiple anglers up here, you've got plenty of room. They're not in each other's way, that's for sure. Your gaff man can run up here and gaff a fish. Doesn't matter where your angler's standing up here, he's got room to do it from. But let me tell you something, they didn't waste the space beneath this. This may be the key to, the, to this uh, casting platform, it's what they did under what you see. This large hatch right here, it's got a lift out storage box trolling motor batteries and you can put three wide if you want to put one of the big 36 uh, volt trolling motors up there and your wire run isn't that long and that's important because if you put the batteries further back you can have a lot more current loss going forward with a longer run of wire than with a shorter run having the batteries right here. You look at this lob well up here you got to realize this boat's 25 feet long I don't want to walk all the way to the back every time I need a live shrimp. Well you don't have to because there's another live well under the front seat of the console there's actually three live wells in this boat. You know, you and I have been around so long, you know what we've seen? What's that? Think about it. Remember the original step, okay? We thought it was such a great idea to have right. a step to get up here, okay? Well, how much of a better idea is it for your step to turn into seating for your entire family? That's an evolution. Nobody thought of that when we first came out with bay boats 15 years ago. Well, what I like about it, too, you haven't given up anything. We've still got rod lockers on either side. They're insulated, so they can be used as a long fish box. You've got an insulated cooler in the center, which could be a smaller fish box, like you always say for my little fish. Like I said, we have another live well in the front seat of the console. That's two. There's a third one in the back. But let's step back to the console. You know, the center console is not really a whole lot you can say that that you can improve on it. It fits the boat. You've got a lot of room to walk by. You have a side entry door. I do like the fact that there is a head down there. You may not use it, but the fact that if you have girls on board, that just having a head down there sometimes is enough to give them the, the sense of security when they're willing to go out. Well, you're right, and it, it, it may be the selling feature that brings Mama involved in the conversation, right, right. As, as we know. But let me show you something they did right with this rocket launcher. Everybody loves live bait fishing. You catch a big net full of pogies, put them on the deck, then you got to pick them all up. Slide this forward, open your live well, in the net goes. Your bait will live longer because it won't rub off their slime on your non-skid, and your net is so much easier to empty, keeps it from snagging anywhere. Very good idea. Well, that's what the fisherman sees. You know what I see? This is cool. I've got a little window here in the back. It's acrylic. I can look through. You can check on your baits. You can see the fish swimming around. You know what your water level is all time, and you know how many baits are left. You know their condition. Let me show you something back here. Have a seat. You know what you're missing? A rear casting platform. A rear casting platform. This is a true sport fish transom. I think for a lot of applications, rear casting platforms are wasted space. You've brought your helm back. Your boat's very seaworthy. She's going to ride good. You're not going to pound. You've got plenty of room back here, and you're not standing on top of the boat. You're in the boat just like you are in a sport fish. I tell you what, I think it's a great feature for this boat. And little things. Here we go again. I like having a cutting board right here. I like having that size fish box, okay? You can use that. That's a fine box for, for, well, it's too big for most fish you catch, but I can put fish in there. I think they did this transom very, very well. Well, going back to the little things you talk about all the time, I've got a freshwater wash down, I've got a saltwater wash down, we've got three live wells, we've got multiple fish boxes. You're in a 25 foot footprint, so the boat is not huge. It's still manageable to trailer. You don't have to have a special pickup truck to pull it, but this boat has some big water legs. And what I mean by that is you can clear the inlet, you can take this boat out offshore, or I don't know that the river could ever get too rough for it. 
Well, you and I have said it before, and this boat fits it. She fishes bigger than she is, okay? I think they've dialed this FX25 just about right. 